We are starting our second part over on page 55 with our, yesterday we did graphing, we did substitution for our systems. Now today we're going to do elimination and it's just like what it sounds. Our goal is to eliminate a variable. So how do I do that? Well, first option, there's gonna be three options. First option, is just going to be, hey, can I just add down and get rid of a variable? Sometimes this is going to work. So let's say we try number nine out. So I look at number nine, and if I start adding down, 9x plus negative 9x would cancel. That is as good as it gets right there. 5 plus negative 3 would be 2y. Negative 5 plus 3 would be negative 2. And just like that, we've eliminated one variable and we only have a one-step equation left to get this one. So, eliminate that. You're like, this can't be this easy. Like, am I done? Not quite. Okay, that's my first step because just like yesterday, we needed to find x and y. We just found y. Like, okay, so how am I going to find x? You can pick either equation. I'm just going to use the top one. And I'm going to start writing this until I get to y because now I'm going to have a value for that. So 9x plus 5 I'm going to substitute the y with the y value that I just found and copy the rest. So the whole first equation, same thing except I substituted negative 1 in for y. And now I'm going to go ahead and solve that equation. So what you're going to notice on what we're looking at today is you're going to have a lot of situations where you're getting to do two-step equations, which we've had a lot of success with in here. So see, everything didn't go away on the right. There's still zero. We can do things to zero. I've got my x value, and I'm good. Okay? So I still got to find x and y. It may not be in the order y then x, it can be the other way as well, but I can find that solution. Now, what we're going to do, because I'd warned, we're going to go back and forth here a little bit. So the other thing is the worksheet you picked up today, Systems of Equations to Practice. We are going to work our way over here to number 13 in the packet. So in our systems practice two, we are going to go to number 13 because we have a similar situation here. You're like, we do? Well, let's see. Negative 10 plus 5, well, Hardy, that doesn't cancel out. My x's are still there. Okay, let's check the y's. 10y plus negative 10y, oh, that does cancel. So I add my x's. 10 plus 20 is 30. I go ahead. I get my x value. And similar to what we did on the last one, I can use either of these equations. Doesn't matter which one. If, if you like, if you're a creature of habit, you can stick with that top one. This time, though, when I get to x, my way through here. Negative times negative is positive. And now we're back where we normally are. 
working at doing opposites to get basically two-step equation and we're going to be there. I'm going to go grab one thing here. So YouTube land, stay there. I will return. I'm going to grab one thing. Oh, you're looking for that. It's like, oh, that's where that is. We got the other packet here. I'm going back and forth. We're just trying to keep track of Hardy going back and forth with things here. So when we're doing elimination, our first goal is always going to be, hey, can I add down and eliminate a variable? If I can, that's great. If I can't, well, that's a little different of an issue. So you're like, okay. So, like, what? I'll pass this over to you in a second here so we can get you on that one, too. Over to you. Sure. So, if I go back into the packet, and let's say we come down to number 11. So, we say our first goal is always just, can we add down? Well, I look, and I'm like, well, negative 35 plus 7, that, that doesn't cancel. And 5 plus 1, Hardy, that doesn't cancel. So now what? Okay. Now we hit option number 2, which is multiply 1 equation by, and I wish I could be more specific, but I really can't be. Multiply one equation by something. You're like, well, that sounds really deep hardy. Okay, so what does that mean? So I know what I want this to be. The question is, can I get what I want? You're like, okay, what do you mean by that? So I look at this first equation. I see negative 35x. What would I like to see? I'd like this to be positive 35x because then they'd cancel. What would I have to multiply negative 7 by to turn it into positive 35? Okay, so we're going to multiply this bottom equation by negative 5 to get my desired outcome. I leave the top equation alone. But my bottom equation, we're going to multiply all three parts of it by negative 5. And the goal here is that that variable that I wanted to get rid of is gone. Well, negative 35 plus 35, the x's are gone. Yay! But then weird happens. Positive 5 plus negative 5, wait a minute, the y's went away too. Okay, that's not necessarily good. 21 plus negative 25 is negative 4. Hardy, we've seen this before. We saw this yesterday. 0 does not equal negative 4. And since there's no variables left, there's no solution. Now, that's a special case. That's not going to happen every time. That's kind of abnormal, actually. So, okay, what would it look like if it were normal? Move it back for a second here. What we might say is normal if we go back to the systems practice two, down there, would be number 14. So I look at number 14 and I go, okay, I got this now. Negative 7 plus 5, okay, that doesn't cancel. That doesn't do me any good. Negative 7 plus 14 doesn't cancel. That doesn't do me any good. So let's get rid of a variable. So you look at the first one. You're like, 5 times what gets me to 7? You're like, oh. It's like some decimal number. Well, that's no good. So if it doesn't work on x, let's try y. 7 times what gets me to 14? 2. 2. 
So we're going to multiply the first equation by 2. You're like, Hardy, why not negative 2? Because again, we need the signs to be opposite. This is positive. This is already negative. So when I distribute that 2 through, Oops, probably should get back on the screen there. There we go. And I leave my second equation alone. Okay, the goal is always to get rid of a variable. It doesn't matter if it's x or y. So this time it ends up being y. Because negative 14 plus 5 is negative 9x. Negative 14 and positive 14 y cancel. Negative 56 plus 20 is negative 36. And I have a one-step equation to solve. So it can be, sometimes you can choose which variable you're going to go after. Sometimes it's going to be pretty obvious which one you should use. So here, I've got my x. There's my first step. Now for my second step to find y, either equation... I like to stay positive, so I'm going to use this one. 5x, but I know what x is. Okay, either equation would get me to the same answer, as long as I plug my number in for x. And here comes my two-step equation again. Just like we've been doing, get that y term by itself, do the opposite, well, positive 20, which would be to subtract it. Again, we can do stuff to zero, so don't think that's, you know, no solution or something. I still can get my zero, and that can work. So I see two good examples here of a couple of different options with elimination. I add down and something goes away right away. That's the best case scenario. That's the easiest. I might have to multiply one equation by something. That could be something that legitimately goes on to. But there actually is one more possibility that I have to be ready for. Let me guess, Hardy, we're going back to the note packet. Yep. Back to the note packet one more time. Okay, at number 12. So this time, I'm like, okay, add straight down. Negative 7 plus 6, nope, that doesn't cancel. 3 plus 5, nope, that doesn't cancel. You're like, okay, I got another option. 6 times what gets me to 7? Well, no, that's a decimally something, too. 3 times what gets me to 5? All right, Hardy, what shenanigans are you up to here? Neither of those work. Last option. Last option. Multiply both equations. Oh. So if I'm going to multiply both equations, what do I multiply by? So here's what I like to do. So I'm looking at the x's here, and I got negative 7x and I got 6x. What I do is I take the coefficients, the numbers in front of each one, and I just flip them. So like the 7 goes down here, the 6 goes up here. You're like, well, okay, wait. That's negative 7. Why didn't you do negative 7 here? Good question. The answer is, when I go through to multiply, watch what happens. Because remember, our goal is that a variable is going to go away. So if I multiply each of these by 6, and I multiply each of these by 7, so just switching the numbers, paying no attention to the signs, check out what happens. Once my distributing is done, and I go to add down, 
the x's are opposites. They cancel. If I'd have put a negative with this, they'd have been the same sign. They wouldn't cancel. I got to have one of each. So sometimes it may be both positive. Sometimes it may be one of each. I, I can't tell you that in advance. And then we're just adding down the rest. Do my division. All of your answers are going to come out as whole numbers. So no panicking needed. And just like we've done on the others, once I have one of my equations solved for, one of my variables, pick either equation, don't care. I'm going to use this one. Plug in for the correct variable. This time it's y that I'm plugging in for. And now we're just going to finish this two-step equation off. Opposite of plus 20 is to minus 20. Opposite, multiply to 6, is to divide by 6. So, here's our goal, okay? Here's, here's what we want to do at, at the absolute bare minimum. So now that we got examples for all three types of solving systems of equations, we got graphing examples, we have substitution examples, we have elimination examples. What you can do is where we started yesterday, and I had to change sheets, so I need to rewrite this. Yesterday, we did one through four. Today, finish those last two problems on elimination. Again, the answers are on the back of the sheet, not with work, but you can check your answers that way. And then also what I would challenge you to do is over on the systems practice, is that you do at least one of each type. Do one graphing problem, do one substitution problem, and do one elimination problem. Because then tomorrow when we have the work day, we can jump right in. I got one other type of problem to show you, and then we're just going to be rolling right on through and then we'll be looking at like starting to do the unit review. I got another delta math coming and some of that stuff. So try these out. Check your answers online up here front. And if I can be of use, please let me.